Hello everyone, this is the Invisible Man, as you can see. And today Halloween is carrying on. We have Billy Bob Joe Jimmy John, fresh from the fishing hole. Hi everyone, welcome aboard. I feel like I hadn't been here since last Halloween, Christelle. Then again, I think I only done been here once since last Halloween. Now you might have noticed that my hat's gone. That's because I ain't got my hat no more. Someone done stole it. My hat was huge. It's like half as big as the state of Texas. It was as big as that hog leg that Buddy Puff rode last week. And you guys should have seen that it was huge. Anyway, I got all this fishing gear around now. I promised I'd fill in here real quick. But it looks like I'm not going to be real quick. It's probably going to take me forever. Because it takes me for. I didn't even do the intro. Yeah, am I doing good, Christelle? Oh, wonderful. Okay, good. Very good. Listen to this first. I ain't the only one that had something stolen. There's somebody else had something stolen, too. This is from PC Northwest Magazine. Now, it's one thing if some bastard steals your hat, that, that's, that, that gets on your nerves. But it's even worse if somebody goes ahead and steals your pumpkin. Especially... <laughs> Oh, oh, that that's my wife. She, she, she's in, well, that's not my wife, but she's tending to the animals in the other room. You don't think Sam's going to mind that we brought in a few Betsy up into the stairs, do you? Uh, what kind of animal is Betsy? A horse. Don't uh, count your job. A horse? A horse. Oh, there she is. Don't count your jack pumpkins till they're harvested. This is actually originally in the Seattle Times. I guess they got pumpkins in Seattle, too. That's kind of cool. You know, they got all kinds of cool stuff like that coming out these days. This is from Kiss Cole Morris. I'll never forget the year I challenged my co-workers at Seattle University to a pumpkin growing contest. The prize for the biggest pumpkin was a stash of extra-large peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, one for each losing contestant. Oh, we got everybody in here. Now, the pumpkin I grew turned into a real honker. Probably weighing in at about 150 pounds. There was no little doubt that I was going to win. And I annoyed my fellow contestants by constantly bragging about the size of my pumpkin. Now, I know a lot of ladies who are always bragging about the size of their pumpkins, too. And it's really a lot harder to steal those kind of pumpkins, I guess, than the ones I'm talking about here. Imagine my surprise when on pumpkin judgment day, I sauntered out to the big glory only to find her gone replaced by a pumpkin pie filling. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but Christelle and Sam were growing a pumpkin, and one of the neighbors actually went ahead and done put their foot in it. Now, it pissed them off real good, too, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Eventually, my cohorts gave my pumpkin back and claimed my bragging rights and my cookies as a champion pumpkin grower at the Seattle County Grounds. As proud as I was, I can't even imagine the esteem you would feel if your pumpkin were crowned the winner at the 7th Annual Skagit Valley Giant Pumpkin Festival. Yeah, I guess it's on September 30th. It says the fun of these activities are all about the way and the biggest of the humongous pumpkins and the sagging monsters are nothing like the road pumpkins that this Arthur said he had. But you know they went and stole it. And he says, harvesting these monsters is a painstaking progress. How many of you have seen great big pumpkins? Now, I'm not talking about the one the ladies have. Well, we all seen those. The X tube, Y tube, and when it comes to that triple X foursome, worsome tube. But I kind of mean more along the lines of like the real pumpkins with like the big twice to stem on top. And those ones, it says, a real pain in the ass to, to actually get the harvest up there. And uh, during the weigh-in process, the Goliath fruits are scrupulously inspected for any cracks or holes to make sure they wouldn't have possibly been injected with, like, fake things to make the pumpkin bigger. But I guess if someone comes along and done steals your pumpkin, then that makes it a little bit different, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. Now, that is from the Seattle Times. And uh, like I said, they, they do have uh, pumpkins now in Seattle, and that, that's a nice thing to hear about. Now, I want to remind you that you can vote on who your best character is. It's either going to be me so far, because I, I just went, or it'll be Buddy Puff. Now, the reason it'll be Buddy Puff is because he's the one that went before me. So I need to know which one you like more, because whoever you like more, I'm going to be giving you the Halloween update itself. Uh, you can look up Buddy Puffs from last week, and Sam DeGangy wants me to tell everybody that this is listener-supported radio. That means that you can donate at the correct views of Hotmail.com, and every penny you give to him goes towards a better show, and maybe he can put me on full-time. 
Thanks for listening, everyone. Good night. God bless. And don't let nobody steal your pumpkins. Or if you're a lady, don't let anybody, you know, like go feeling on them. Goodbye, guys. Hey, Billy Bob, what kind of sound effect do you use for a pumpkin?